Hey guys, here here ninety one, and I'm talking about the PS5 price. Remember that video I made about that Amazon leak, Amazon France, I believe it was, where I basically calculated that I believe that they were going to be about four ninety nine and three ninety nine for the PS5 digital edition, right? Well, we got a Nielsen survey here, and apparently this survey went to Sony, and one of the questions was about the PS5 price. And it said the random prices for this new product, PlayStation 5, that you will evaluate are PlayStation 5, 349 pounds, and let's just put that about 399.99 US. PlayStation 5, digital edition, 259 pounds, and let's just put that at 299.99 US. So that would be significantly cheaper for the PS5 and the PS5 digital edition if Sony actually decided to go with these prices. The fact that the prices like these were in the survey makes me think Sony is at least kind of still trying to decide what price the PS5 should be. I don't think the people at Sony even know yet, but I just doubt it's gonna be this low. With the amount of power they are packing into these systems, I just don't think they can have the disc version for $399 and the digital edition for $299. I just don't think those are even in the realms of possibility. They may have just put it there to see how the reaction was in the survey or something like that, I don't know. I think they have like a range. They're like, we can go this low, we can go this high, and they just probably did this survey to see like what price people will buy the PS5 at. Yes, they are still playing chicken with Microsoft, because I believe that if Microsoft were to release the Xbox Series X price in their game showcase on the 23rd, then Sony would release it like maybe that same day or the next day. They'd be like, okay, here's our price. Yeah, it's lower than Microsoft, see? But at the same time, it still seems like they're kind of going back and forth. And this isn't the first time, because the PS4, if I recall, actually, they made the decision to drop the eye and make it $399, not too long before they announced the price at E3, if I recall. So I think Sony themselves aren't sure exactly what they're going to release this system at yet. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Sony actually may be listening to this survey and dropped the prices down to about $399.99 US and... $299.99 US for the digital edition? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.